Hi everybody, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension and twin flame ascension, specifically love, healing, symptoms, all of it. How are you today? In this video, I want to let you know a little bit in advance about some energies coming up that are really going to throw you off. This, it's personal this time. Okay, and if you're paying attention to the chaos in the world, please stop. Okay, it's going to continue happening because there's been a big shakeup. The very thing that you wished for, some of you, that people get woke, it's already happened. Okay, the big wake-up call was a little ways back. Now it's time for the fix-it stage. So sometimes when you wonder, what stage am I in? Right now I want to let you know that it's the it's personal stage. Okay, what that means is um, let's get right down to earth here. Very earthy things, personal relationships, relationships to money, relationships to your family, your origins. Just so that it doesn't sound abstract, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I've been helping people with. Okay, it's been things like they were adopted and they decided to do an ancestry test. And they found some really shocking information. And they're trying to come to terms with it, reconcile with it, try to meet a family member, try to deal with potential health issues that run in a family that they knew nothing about. Some of the other things that people are dealing with, grief, okay? Grief over a job, grief over job loss, grief over the way it was at a job and the way it has to be now. Grief hits people in different ways. And some of this stuff, I'm going to be straight up about it. It's kind of ugly. We all have ugliness to deal with. You can look around in the world and see all kinds of ugliness. Some of it you can't just la la away and go like fluffy rainbow unicorns about, okay? White light, white rainbows, unicorns, like your world as you know it is changing. Bottom line. Okay, because what has to be the new normal is what you're creating. The seeds are inside you. The light body, your twin flame body to connect you from 5D so you're supported is what's inside you and you have to participate in that. That is a misconcept that people uh, take as a given that, you know, I'll be straight up on this journey. They think that somehow if they get that person to just come, everything's like a domino. I'll tell you after 15 years of working with people, that is not how it is. You get your side. It's like saying, let's focus on what's on your side of the street. What's in your neighborhood? Clean up on aisle three. You're in the aisle three. You have to clean up some of this stuff, heal it, purge it, get it out. Some of it happens passively. Let's talk about some of the other chaos, confusion about health matters, okay? The blame, the shame, the guilt, the finger pointing, okay? What does it actually mean for you personally? Are you prone to things? Have you known people who personally have gotten sick? Now, so far, there's been a lot of emphasis up here. I'm going to tell you something. Here in Chicago, in um, a few years back, I want to say it was um, tail end of 2018, something went through the entire city. And while it wasn't a pandemic, it hit a lot of people. And it was norovirus. And you can be spilling your guts out from both ends. This end, you know, and this end, where you would feel like there is not even any more fluid left in you. And yeah, people were going to the hospital and it was very baffling, okay? And that is something that I had, people in my family had, we had to live through it. In ancient times, a lot of people did not have proper health care. And, you know, we're at a point now where there is sufficient amount of health emphasis, wellness, health care, medications or not medications. You have companies that have, you know, formulations that they've made to help people um, in natural ways. That might be your preference or what I like to do sometimes a combo effect where 
in order to combat the combo effect, I take a combination of different things. Now, I've also created my own modality, the twin flame body modality, to help you with the things that are metaphysical. Ah, misconcepts. Is it all spiritual? No. Is it all physical? No. When your subtle bodies get sick, it's metaphysical. That is what I help people with. First of all, to distinguish what to do, how to maintain, how to prevent, how to super boost yourself. Now, as you're looking around of what do you have to deal with in your personal life, and retrogrades are always a time for this, okay? What stage you're at is believing that this goes beyond like, oh, your small little device somehow clunked out because of some retrograde energy. Things are going to force you to really look, really look with dispassionate eyes, really look at it. You know, sometimes it's a really hard thing to do at what is really going on. So in advance of this, the energy in February, it is going to be bumpy. It is going to be bumpy. If you're not adept at knowing how to do this, if your way of dealing with things has been to just get angry or blame or think like there's some massive force against you, I want to flip that around. No such thing. There's, there's sort of like a wave to dislodge things. I like to use that word. It's like, what is it dislodging from you? What is it loosening from you so that you can easily not have it attached to you or have it pull you back or drag you down or turn you into a living corpse? Okay. For some people, that's going to be their marriage. Have you chosen to stay with the husband you're with? Okay. If you're making that choice, there are ways to do that and even use my Twin Flame Body Modality to make it as smooth as humanly possible, okay? To not be dragged down by it. Now, that's not always an easy thing. And believe me, I know because I was there. I hung in on my marriage for three years, you know, probably two and a half years more than I really needed to because I didn't know what to do. I know what to do now. I know how to help people. I know what to uh, directions and suggestions to give them to make this a viable thing for you. I learned a lot throughout the years that I have honed and distilled and focused to make this as easy as for people as possible. Now, this is going to be a year of all kinds of ups and downs, all kinds of, you know, topsy-turvy things, because it's going to be the next step for where you're at, okay? Ascension is happening. It's happening all around us, and it, it's like having a bunch of people that started, okay? Let's say the first thousand people that got awakened, they started moving and spinning off. Well, that created other things to start spinning off. There is a um, ripple effect. And sometimes those ripples don't feel good. It can feel like a tsunami is coming that is going to upend your life. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about some of this stuff. I have something really, really tough to do. I have to go talk to the person who is my um, son's father, wife. Okay, about some things that we need her cooperation with. Okay, I've only had very limited correspondence because basically I've been leaving space for my other to come in. Okay, I, I haven't really wanted extra people in there. And the universe is sort of forcing the hand here to deal with something that has to be dealt with in a brand new way. I'm doing my best with it because I would be remiss if I wasn't able to help teach other people how to do this. How do you stop having knockdown, drag out fights with people? How do you stop the Cold Wars? How do you stop the um, antagonizing each other and irritating each other and getting fed up with each other and just the ups and downs of relationships that really might not seem to serve you any purpose, but 
it still needs to finish somehow and get to a different thing so it's not pulling you back. How do you help your child if it involves a child or children? Okay. And these are some really deep things. I have helped people over the years who actually didn't even know that they, they were raped and a child was the result and they haven't known what to do and they have that child to deal with. Okay. How do you get the other systems that are required in order for people to thrive to cooperate with you at a personal level. Now, this full moon, um, I'm kind of privately calling it the cry to heaven moon. In fact, now I said it publicly, it's not so private. Cry to heaven. What have you internally been crying about? What's been needling you, killing you, killing you softly, you know, somehow submerging you? What is that thing, okay? We're going to get into it a little bit about what is happening right at personal level. What are your goals for 2022? Even as I record this, it is called Quitter's Day. Okay, somehow Quitter's Day is like a little bit into the new year and people start giving up their resolutions and their commitments and it's right back to square one. Okay, they pick up smoking again, they pick up drinking again, they pick up that affair that they knew was not healthy for them. They pick a fight with someone that they've been telling themselves they shouldn't. Okay, this is for real people. You cannot possibly ascend unless you're actually doing real life work. And that real life work gets supported with your twin flame body, not the other way around. Okay, the twin flame body integration is vitally important for creating, for self-expression, for feeling and sensing and intuiting things. And it goes much far beyond that. That is what I'm here to teach people, to really teach you how it really feels, to have those successes for you to glow up and be successful where you're like, me, 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 look at me. Look at what I did. Look at what I accomplished. What have you accomplished? Now, I've had people who have had something this big, but it's a huge accomplishment for them. They've been able to shift something, change something. Sometimes all they've been able to do is stand their ground, but that's all that's needed. Okay. The thing about your subtle bodies is they're subtle. Okay. Less is more. Using the force of love not the force of fear and hatred and disgust and all, all of those low vibe things. The force of love from another level so that you're capable of not just shifting things, putting it behind you, getting it to a different place, making it healthier, even if that's like a baby step, okay? The steps above where you are at is what is important for today. Now, if you are interested in doing some real work, please join me. I have uh, two things going on. There is Open Your Chakras and New Beginnings. And I will have the link below. And there is a two-day event for the full moon. I feel that this moon is very significant, sandwiched as it is here to pivot things for you. What is that? Okay. I always open the floor for questions, answers, comments. I try to remain teachable too because I learn from you. What, you know, what are the things? I receive guidance on what's happening now, not what happened in 2016, 2018. You know, those things happen. Maybe you couldn't take any action at that time. Okay? This is real actionable stuff. And it's not impossible. It may not be easy, but it's not impossible. Now, if you are someone that has been doing some stuff that's kind of like not making a dent for you, Please come and join, okay? Please come and join and find out. Find out what it's like to hear some like-minded people that aren't, you know, really where it's interactive. You, do, I don't force people to participate. You can simply listen, okay? 
What are things you need to get accomplished? Hey, I'm renewing my passport. Got to do that. Hey, I have actually five books which I consider the owner's manual for your twin flame journey. Okay, so if you are looking at things and still getting befuddled by some of those, you know, simple things that happen, like it's kind of like the ABCs of starting off, like what does 444 signify? What does an 1111 signify? Hey, 1111 happens 365 days a year, two times a day in every time zone. <laughs> okay. Something is happening, but at some point it's going to feel like it's just like, oh, ho, hum. You want some real action. You want to really feel it. Okay. I get that because that should be your driving force, feeling it. That's what reinforces it. That's what, God, right in your body, that's where you want to feel it. You want to be that sensual angelic that's capable of like, being in the universe, the world, anywhere, feeling the love and the support and the passion, reinventing, resetting yourself, right? Hey, so if that's you, I'm looking for those A-plus types of people who want that. Thanks so much. Bye now.